All right, so I thought I'd make a short video on um, one of the accessories I have on my table. Um, this is called, uh, honestly, I don't know what it's called, now that I think about it. But what this does, it's one of those cars that pushes um, the little round pipes from off of the actual rail car onto uh, a platform off the track. So uh, it's an old, old Tyco. I'm, uh, I'm guessing circa 70s. I haven't seen any type of um, dating on it, and I haven't looked it up online. It's it's neither here nor there, actually. But what I'm doing is I'm putting this on the train table. Unfortunately, it's about four feet away from my actual control panels and this is the button now I could rig something different up and you know, have a different button that would activate it and everything but I'd like to keep this original button that goes with it so what I've had to do is I've actually had and this button was like this close to the mechanism and so I'm hoping this is going to work. Honestly, I don't know. But you'll see in a later video if it does. <coughs> now, because this was wired so originally wired so close, it was right, like right here. Which is about, I don't know, 8 inches from the actual mechanism. Crazy. And I have to go 4 feet. So... What I've done is I've cut it, I've cut it right here, okay? So, I've cut it there, which leaves me with this, with the, we'll just call it the trigger, but with the trigger, and now all the way to that. So I have the trigger <coughs> ready to go somewhere else, but meanwhile... I've had to get me my spool of uh, two conductor wire and 28 gauge for anybody interested and hook it up to this. Um, so I've spliced them together, put a little uh, heat shrink wrap on there so they don't come apart. They're on there nice and snug now. Uh, I. I'm not going to cut cut it yet from the spool because I want to make sure, since I'm running it underneath, that uh, I'm going to have enough. Meanwhile, I'll just keep this. It's not a big deal. I'll keep this off to the side, and I will cut it at a later date. So, that's where I'm at with that. I don't think there's... Anything that's going to go with that, other than the trigger. It's going to be fun, though. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of clean. I'm cleaning this up. I'm putting it on a small platform um, that I've already painted and kind of textured with a little bit of uh, turf and stuff like that. The fine turf. Now, obviously, the person who originally... I bought this obvious second hand from um a train shop and you know it was already put together and everything else so and we all know it should have been painted way beforehand but I, i'm thinking about painting this so i'm gonna have to tape a lot of things off and it doesn't look like that's gonna come off very easy right here so I may have to find a way. Well, I may be able to pinch these together right here. 
But man, I do not want to break that. Well, it does look like it'll pinch together. So I'll have to see. If you could see it, like right here. Let me make sure I'm in the camera, sorry. This looks like it could pinch together. And this one. But man, I don't trust this older plastic. I really don't. I do not want to break it. I do not want to break that off because that's the only thing besides the peg, which looks like comes out fairly easily. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I may just have to tape around it or carefully paint around it. Uh, so, yeah. So I'm probably going to paint this up. Uh, I'm going to clean up these mechanisms, these gears as best I can, and then give them a little bit of some lubrication oil. I use, I know it sounds crazy, but I use this sewing machine oil. Um, there's all different kinds of oils and lubrications you can buy, but I use this for a lot of things. Um, let's see. I also have this treadmill oil. That's like a silicone lubricant. Silicone lubricant. And I also have something that I've, I've used in the past. There's this uh, anti-seize. Now, my, I got a neighbor of mine, he gave this to me, he brought, brought a little bit over, and I just put the remaining stuff in here, and it's like, you just like, kind of goo it off and stick it on, and it works great. So, there's all kinds of stuff you can use. But you got to get this old crap off first. So once I do that, I'll put some new oil on here so it moves pretty, easy, pretty easily. I'd rather not mess with any of the electronics. I'm trying to keep this simple. This looks like a simple, this looks like a simple interrupt switch. So. We'll see how that goes. So that's it for now. I'll show you later on in another video if uh, how things worked out. Okay, that's it. See ya.